Hi everybody, I'm Ryan Horn. So, a question keeps coming up. People say, Ryan, I've created a Google Form. I have sent out the Google Form and gotten my audience to respond to it, and I get these great summaries with graphs and charts and even some comments that you can scroll up and down to read. And the person that created the form is able to see these, but when we try to share them with other people, they either don't have access like this, it says you need permission, or if I try to print out the form, it looks like this, which is fine, but as you get into these scrolling text boxes or scrolling windows, they're stuck. You, you can't see all the responses. It gets cut off. So the question is, how do you share this with others so that they can see what you see? Well, let's take a look at how to do that. So, step one. Step one is, in your form itself, you are going to first go to the settings up in the top right corner. And when you click on the settings cog, you need to get rid of a couple of check boxes, okay? One of them, the require sign-in, if it's restricting to users at your domain, you need to get rid of that. That will make sure that if there's anyone that's outside your domain that you want to share your survey with, they'll be able to see it. And also, you're going to need to get rid of this. See summary charts and text responses. And I know it doesn't make sense. You would think that by sharing this with others, you're going to want them to see the summary charts and text responses. But trust me, this is, this is how it works. So I've gotten rid of these two. The other ones we can leave checked. I'm going to press Save. So the next thing you're going to want to do is head on over to the responses, the responses. And when you head over to the responses, you're going to get your screen that looks like this with all these nice charts and graphs. But we have to do a couple more uh, buttons before we can share these out with others. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come to the more button up here in the top right. The one that's by the send button, this guy. So I'm going to click on the more button here. And I'm going to go to print. No, I'm not going to print out these results. But the print menu is going to actually, when we go to more and print, it's actually going to open this up in a new tab. So it opened this up in a new tab. This is what I want to be able to share out with people, this view. Now you can't share it out yet. There's another button you have to press. This blue link right here, Publish Analytics. Okay, so we're going to click Publish Analytics, and another tab is going to open. All respondents will be able to see the summary. That's okay. You're going to go ahead and press OK. That would be if a respondent, as soon as they finish the survey, they get that message and it will ask them if they want to be able to look at the results. Um, they're not going to be able to go back and, and see the results, um, if that makes sense. So I'm going to press OK. And what I'm going to do now is go back to the responses one more time. And we're going to go back to the More button one more time. We're going to go back to Print one more time. So you'll notice this time the same screen popped up again, but it does not have that Publish Analytics link anymore. Okay? So now, how do I give this to others? Well, I have this crazy long link up here. And I'm going to copy this entire link. And what you can do to select the entire link, you can triple click any letter or number in the web address, one, two, three, and it'll highlight the entire link. You can right click, and we're going to select copy. And then what you would do is you would compose a new mail message and paste that link into your email or however else you'd like to share that link out. And when you share that out, this is what your response. Bond. Excuse me, this is what the person on the other end of your email is going to be able to see. And they will be able to scroll through these text boxes. So, 
It's a few clicks, but I think it's well worth it to share these professional um, looking summaries. These look so much better than going through the spreadsheet view. All right, good luck. You can see tips like these and more at my blog at ryanstechtips.com.